Today on Karamo. It gets physical. Booyash, we start fighting. Kiana's boyfriend was out extremely late one night. I look at my phone, it's going on 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock, like, where are you at? He claims he was not cheating. The pulling out guns. That's when everybody scattered. That's not what you told me. You said your mama went home with him and you and you. But his phone will be unlocked today. <laughs> and it will cause complete chaos. Man, I'm going to show you. I love me. I ain't got a lot. Plus, April says she lost her pregnancy because she heard the audio of Joey having sex with another woman. Babe, I can't take it back. Now she has a secret for him. And it will put this entire relationship in jeopardy. After a nasty fight with her boyfriend, Kiana left for work and decided she was never coming back. Devante was devastated and refused to give up on their relationship. After a four-month break, they are back together. Can this relationship be saved? Well, we're unlocking their phones to find out. So everyone, help me welcome Kiana to the show. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing, Kiana? Can I have a hug? Nice to meet you. Take a seat for me. So I got to start off. Why did you call the show? Because I have got back with my ex, uh -huh. and I really wanted to work, but also my family hates him. They do not like him. Oh, wow. And so I just want to try to see if I can make it a meme where we can all get along like we used to. Got it. Okay, then. And how did you meet Devonte? Through Facebook. Through Facebook. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was it love at first sight? What was it? I hit him up about a tattoo, mm -hmm. and he was like, he, we, we talked about the tattoo, but then he was, the next thing he's going to say is, where your man at? I said, I'm single, and we weren't even friends on the book. It was just about a tattoo, and from the time for it, he came and did my tattoo, we was talking. Oh, got it. Hold on, but you said before, because I can't skip over this, I wrote it down really quickly, that your family doesn't like him. Why? So, back on July 3rd. Mm, poor baby, what's going on? <laughs> Me and him wound up getting into it, okay. and it got physical, and it went left, and at that point, I was like, I can't do it no more. Like, because my last relationship was like this. I was Got like, I couldn't it. do it. Like, I had to go. Got it. And so at that point, I was over it. So I, I called my mama the next day. As I said, it got physical. We said words to each other that we didn't mean. And then a phone call had came upon the next day towards another family member of mine. And one of his family members and him. Mm -hmm. And I guess what was said was that, B word, that's why your grandma dead. Uh. Devontae said that he was going to put his handprint across my mama's face. <laughs> When my mama was the one that helped us with everything, you get what I'm saying? Like, it, when we was down and low, like, we got a house together. Like, bro, I've been here for you. Like, I ain't never did this with nobody else I done been with. And for you to sit there and stay every time we couldn't get into it, tell me, oh, well, come get your <laughs> And I just feel like I just had to leave for four months to figure out if it's something I was really wanting. No, that makes complete sense. I mean, despite the, the phone call, if it gets physical and then he also is threatening to kick you out. I think you made a smart choice of taking time to figure out what you need and what you, what you need in your life. So during that four months, was he trying to get back with you? Ooh, Karamo. During the four months, <laughs> yeah. it was crazy. <laughs> but you know, it was just like, after I left, like I say, it started July 3rd. After I left, it started staying with my mom from July 3rd up for Like he would pull up to my, my family member house and run his engine and like, knock on the door, he was wanting to fight me and my family members, like, he called my job, all types of stuff. Like, so he thought by coming there and trying to fight is going to get you back? I guess so. And then, like, not even that, Karamo, like, he was also, like, texting me from text now numbers, other numbers, like, even my family members. There we go. So these are, uh, my producer's telling me right now, these are all the different messages and nines and different calls that he was sending you. Oh, and like okay. in, the, in, in, the, in the beginning, it was still worse. So like you can't just really see him. But like in the beginning, like you can see like he like he was so mad. I guess because I left. Like he was bashing me and yeah. everything else. You no, know, like, my producers they're telling me right now that he was that a lot of this is a lot of him threatening you, on top of saying that he wants to get back with you, but it's threatening you as well at the same time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. What is the initial issue that caused you and Devonte to fight? It just be like petty stuff, small stuff. It be like, I could accuse him of cheating. Like, 
and he'll be like, I ain't cheating. And he, well, that's not petty or small. But then, <laughs> then it'll blow up to where he blows it up bigger than what it is. Instead of sitting down and communicating with me, it's, bitch, da, 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 da. And then I'm at his neck, he at my neck. Or then it could be something about money. It could be something about bills. Like, it'd be the small, like I say, it could be, it's not small, but it's something that we could communicate on. And it don't go that way. Got it. And what happened the night you broke up? July 3rd. Whew. We got into an altercation. We was fighting. I, like I say, I was already at our house in the bed sleep. He, um, he went out with some of his family members, but I didn't hear from him. I haven't heard from him. And as a girlfriend, any girlfriend going to be concerned, like, damn, where he at? I haven't heard from him. What's going on? But that was not it. So, like, I just text him and I had to be to work. I look at my phone. It's going on 6 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock. Like, where are you at? And so I text him. This is literally all I said was, I guess you're not going to come home with a question mark because you're not here. So I'm asking. He called me. I'm going off. I can't remember what he was saying, but he was going off. And I'm like, okay, cool. And stuff. And I said, whatever, Devontae, I'm not going to argue with you. Click, hung up in his face. Next thing I know, I hear the car pull up. He come in the house. And all I hear is, I hear the front door slam. I'm in the bed laying like this. He come in. He flip the light on and say, get your bitch ass up. And so I rose up out the bed like, what's up? Like, I'm up. What's up? And he like, well, what you want to do, da 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 and just going off on me, Karama, like I'm saying. And so the next thing you know, booyash, we start fighting. We was hitting on each other. Like, it, went, it was crazy. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, so when did you decide to get back with him and why? About two weeks ago. And he hit me up on Instagram telling me how he done changed and how he really want to be with me and he want this to work. But like I, was, like I say, words can say anything. Uh -huh. Show me, like, yeah. if this real, show me that's just what you want. Because if in day, I'm sacrificing a lot with this. Yeah. How it's, did your family react when you got back with him? I haven't told them. You haven't told this them? This will be the first time they see this. And not even that. Just in fact, I have a little girl that's eight years old. So, you know, like, got it. Okay, I so can't keep just... going through this, especially yeah. with her yeah. on my side. Like, so yeah. that's why I say, like, if you really want to be with me, show me. Because if in day, when we go back home, I'm, losing, I'm probably going to lose a lot behind this. Like, yeah. He's not a bad person. It's the way he grew up and the stuff that he been through, he need work on. He needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. I understand. Tell me about the middle of the night tattoos. I don't knock nobody hustle. Yes. But it's a time limit to that, because when you in the house with your woman, y'all got a household? No, you not finna go, we in bed, and stuff, but you finna go at 2 in the morning, 2.30, something in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, but you finna go do a tattoo. No. No. You like no that it don't like I understand you about your money get your money but no out of the respect for me because you know I'm not finna get up out no bed at two or three o'clock in the morning especially if I gotta go to work and then my daughter in there she gotta go to school it's not gonna work like that so I, I'm just saying like if you're gonna really go do that I don't mind that but I prefer them to come to you where we're in the same household than you go to them because I don't know you don't never What's know what a female on. Yeah, you're asking for a boundary. Pretty you're, much. You're not trying to stop his hustle. You ask for a boundary. Yes. I understand. Well, listen, I know you want me to unlock his phone to see if he has been faithful since you all got back together, and that's the key thing. Um, so listen, everyone, let's see what Devontae has to say. Please welcome Devontae to the show. Hey, so so what you going to tell him, or I'm going to tell him? What you mean? The truth. Is Devonte really out all night working as a tattoo artist? But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you know what I'm saying? We have to make money to pay bills. And what happened on the night he claims he lost his phone? The pulling our guns. That's when everybody scattered. Call. That's not what you told me. You said your mama went home with him and you and you. Stay tuned. You just said that your family doesn't like him. Why? Me and him wind up getting into it. It got physical. Devontae said that he was going to put his handprint across my mama's face. What is the initial issue that caused you and Devontae to fight? I could accuse him of cheating. Like, and he'll be like, I ain't cheating. He blows it up bigger than what it is. Instead of sitting down and communicating with me, it's da 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 And then I'm at his neck, he at my neck. He's not a bad person. It's the way he grew up. and. The stuff that he been through, he need work on. Well, listen, I know you want me to unlock his phone to see if he has been faithful since you all got back together, and that's the key thing. You gonna tell him or I'm gonna tell him? What you mean? The truth. I mean, everything I gotta told you is the truth. So, you know, you talking about tattoos and, and all this stuff at night, you agreed to that, bro. And I did, but Devontae, you're gone, literally. 
But I'm telling you, I'm, te I'm telling you though. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you to get, I'm telling you to get up and and come in there. You know what I'm saying? We have to make money to pay bills. I'm telling him that you try to talk to me, bro. You don't try to talk to me. If I say so, I haven't. No, you don't. Try to sit there and talk to me. Do I need to get my? Oh, I wish I could have my phone because I would pull it out and show. You don't try to talk to me, not verbally. You talk, talk to, to you me verbally then. for what? So I can next time you know. Do you not forget talking to you verbally in that moment is not gonna work, and you okay. know it. What happens when you talk okay. verbally? Is that when it get physical? Yes, it goes more left than right. It got goes it. all the way left. Got it. Okay, then. Got it. Got it. Devontae, nice to meet you now. Oh, yeah. Good. good to meet you. Um, so I have to ask you point blank: Have you been faithful to Kiana since you got back together? Man, like I told her, Karamo. At the end of the day, I'm a tattoo artist. And I told her, I've been and told her when I got back with her. I'm like, you know, girls have been shooting they shot at me. Girls have, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, see when they come over there and get their tattoos, they see I'm here by myself. It's a big old house. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So they do, they, they, they do see that. And you but did, on my end, you did on my that. end, I, I kept blankets up. I kept pictures up. So they are no, I'm still in a relationship. I felt like it was still a relationship. Okay, but I never you know told him. I never told him you didn't tell no, me. No, I'm, I'm not saying so that. I'm not saying you is did. Is that a direct yes that yes. you have not? Yes. You, you've been faithful. Yes. Okay then. And were you faithful when you were together before? Yes. So and, I'm confused. But why tattoo people in the middle of the night, 2 a.m., 3 a.m.? Okay, look, I'm gonna be honest with you, Karamo. Okay. I'm not saying that that's the right thing to do. I'm not saying that at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you but at the end of the hold on, hold on. I'm not saying that's the right thing to do at all. But at the end of the day, I did make a post on Facebook and say I'm 24 hours with tattoos. I'm going to tell you why. Because when I was just doing it just during the day, people got to work. People don't get out to 10, 12. You know what I'm saying? So okay, but how do you get, think I feel on, when I got man, to work? Hold on, I, I'm going to let you speak. I'm going to let you speak. I'm going to let you speak. But I'm trying to, you know, help you understand that I done told you this a million times. So I'm trying to help you understand while I'm but telling him. But when have I denied you didn't, you didn't tell me that? I never said you denied, but he asking me. So I'm telling him. Well, this, was, this is good information because I wasn't aware that you had been advertising your business for 24 hours. Now, that gives a whole different con connotation to you going out at 2, 3 a.m. Because I, I know many people, they get done with the club, they drunk, they turned up, whatever, and then it's like 2, 3, they want a tattoo. And if you're advertising, I'm always available, someone's going to take advantage of that. And so it, you were aware that he was advertising that? Uh, proposed, but he said he made this yeah, status a long aware. time ago she before we got together, because he just said it on the phone, let him tell it. She was aware. I made this status a long time ago. It, da, 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 da. It, it's, it's a pinned post on my page. Oh. So what happened the night before you broke up? When you, did, the night when you before came up we, at 7 The night before I broke up, this is the whole truth. And if you let me speak, I'm going to speak it. I told her before I even went out. Uh-huh. I told her before I even went out. I said, look, I'm going to go out. You know what I'm saying? You know, my mama didn't want to go out or whatever. Do you want to come? She said, no, I have to work in the morning. So me and my family members, we left. I'm driving. So we get there, and uh, some family, other family members start getting into it with other people. Got it. You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. they, it just was a whole out brawl. It, started, it, started, it came out to a fight. We over there eating, my phone laying on the bar thing. So while my phone laying on the bar thing, they started fighting. So I see as one of my other family members fighting. So, you know, everybody rushed. Me and my other family that's on this side, mm -hmm. we all rushed to the fight. So we rushed to the fight, we fighting and everything. Everything pushed on out the door. So when we went outside or whatever, they arguing, they still bigger and arguing, whatever. So then nobody want to leave. They all want to still argue and stuff. So at the, at the heat of the moment, uh, my family trying to get my other family right here to calm down. It's just not going right. Mm -hmm. So time was just dragging until the other side, you know what I'm saying, went to pulling out guns. That's when everybody scattered. So my, my family got in the car with me, you know what I'm saying? So a dude that my, uh, you know, that my mom knew, he jumped in the car too. Well, I know him too because he's my friend, you know what I'm saying? But we all jumped in the same car. That's not what you told me. You said your mama went home with him and you and you... So what time do you think you got in? Man, I feel like it was about 6. I don't think it was no 7. Okay, so 3 o'clock. So what happened within Man. those... <laughs> but what happened in those three hours, though? I'm dropping people off. Okay. They, these people didn't stay with me. Guys, so you dropping everybody And, and let's, let's be honest, Karamo. I still had to wait 45 minutes for my phone. 
Got it, okay. Um, I know your mother's in the audience right now, Devontae, your mother, Antoinette. Antoinette, how you doing? So I gotta know before I unlock these phones, how do you feel about everything that was just said? That's a lot. Y'all yeah. need to get that together. It's yeah. too much for me. His mother wants this relationship to work. Do you want your son to be with Kian? I do, I love her. And I want them to be together and I want them to work it out. But two phones are about to be unlocked. We can see that there is 1,177 messages. And what happens will cause complete chaos. Man, I'ma show you. Oh, no, man, get out of here. Oh. So what happened the night before you broke up? This is the whole truth. And if you let me speak, I'm gonna speak it. I told her before I even went out. Uh -huh. It just was a whole out brawl. It started, it started, it came out to a fight. Devontae, your mother, Antoinette. So I gotta know before I unlock these phones, how do you feel about everything that was just said? That's a lot. Y'all yeah. need to get that together. It's yeah. too much for me. Is everything in his story tracking? It is. It's, it's tracking. Okay. There was a lot going on in, at that time. It was. A lot. And, and Tom did to get away. Else. And for, you know, for your clarification, yes, I did leave with the guy. But he had to drop all of us off. Think about it. You got all of us together, and you're dropping everybody off. You have to wait for your phone and everything. So that is a time span. But what y'all got, y'all don't even have trust. At the age y'all have, y'all are, trust is not going to last that long. You if preach. you don't have trust now, it's not going to work later you on down the preach. line. Trust me, I know. So let me ask you this, because I appreciate you confirming that story. I felt the same way. Once he started giving me details of family members and these things, it started adding up. Now, for you, um, do you want your son to be with um, Kiana? I do. I love her. I love her. I definitely love him. He's my son, but I love her, mm -hmm. and she loves him. And if he loves her, then I want them to be together, and I want them to work it out, and they just have to get trust. Devontae, you have to set boundaries. She has boundaries. You have to adhere to them. If and she doesn't I, and want I you... Her, and I want her to set her boundaries. If she doesn't and want I've you, told listen her to, to set me. those boundaries. Okay, right. and you have, but I can sit here and tell you, and you'll get mad at me. You'll feel I like think, I'm being I'm petty. But she's sitting here saying, like, like, you know, mama like, come on. 24 hour tattoos, tattoos business, yes, they're out there. Trust me, people want to get tattoos when they get out of, yeah, of from course, the club yeah. or uh -huh. because they're working different hours. Yes, they do. But if you want, which one do you want? Do you want to lose her or do you want your business or do you want to have them both? Because you can have them both. You definitely mm -hmm. can have them both. No, but it's not about him losing his business either. I'm no, she, she, right she, she said y'all can have them both. I see what she's going with it. You can have them both. You just need to adhere to her boundaries. What do you feel about the physicals, them getting physical? You know I didn't raise you that way to be hitting on no woman. Because I'm not gonna let no man hit on me. So I'm definitely not gonna let my boys do that to no woman mm. at all. That's not ever happening. <laughs> so if you can't is, keep is your hands to yourself, then you don't need to be with her. Is this the first time you ever got physical with a woman? Because think about it's it, not. she has a daughter. Yeah. And okay. when y'all when are arguing, fighting, putting hands on each other, she sees that, that's not good for her. Mm -hmm. Your son just said, he just said, he just said that this is um, not his first time getting physical with a woman. It's not. Yeah. So it's this, not. Is, this is pattern behavior. Okay. Okay. Well, listen, um, I appreciate your, your point of view. I mean, everything you said, I would be saying too. So I appreciate it. So right? I appreciate it. But uh, so thank you for being here. But I think it's time for us to get clarity by unlocking these phones because that's going to give us clear information that y'all been looking for. All right. So, Kiana, we have your envelope. Devonta, you want to know specific things. And so we unlock Kiana's phone. You want to first know if Kiana was talking to any men since you've been back together. She says she is not. My unlock the phone investigator searched her apps and she is not telling the truth. He found that Google Duel had been used this week but deleted and IG had been used um, yesterday but also deleted. So these are the, the duo. This shows us when they've been used and then they were deleted. And so the reason this is important, you got to face, what, what is this about? Google Duo. Mm -hmm. Google Duo, I'll use for my So y'all telling me I'm cheating with my <laughs> what? And then what y'all find on Instagram? You've been deleted. So we're trying to figure out why have these things been deleted. What did I delete? Because I, I haven't even been on Instagram. You telling me. I can only give you the screen grabs and the facts. If IG was yesterday, why delete it? And you know you was coming here the next IG day. IG was yesterday. It was deleted yesterday. 
No, they must have did a thing. Look, that's what I tell you. IG was on my phone. We would never delete anything off our phone. Just like some text messages on Messenger was on my phone from a dude that I ain't never texted a day of my life when I got my phone back. You really think that I'd put message on someone's phone? But y'all had, this, they said these messages were sent at 3.53. You think that I would really? I don't know. I'm not saying you would. You think I'm my producer who put message on my phone? I don't know what y'all would do. Okay. Well, what this does give me an insight to, in all sincerity, is a bit to the way maybe your conversations go, and also because what you've just done right there is you've exhibited trying to gaslight me. I'm telling me. And that's not a healthy behavior. Now, we're going to keep going from here. My Unlock the Phone investigator also searched your phone and found that you were not telling the truth because when the deleted Google Duo, we found we can see that there was 1,177 messages, and it was not just to one person. It was to multiple people. So who's that? TikTok, 1940, recent 369, native 132. They don't even look like real ass numbers. Okay, so my Lock the Phone investigator also searched text and found three text messages from men trying to talk to her, but she did not respond. Thank you. Um, so it's funny that you're not going to dispute that one? No, because but Google Duo. <laughs> well, okay. But on Google Duo, I got a whole Google Duo. What do you have to say about any of that? Once we leave here, that ain't going to matter to me. Mm. Okay. It's not. All right, well, now let's unlock your phone, Devontae. <laughs> Devontae's phone is about to be unlocked. Oh! That is not my mess. Yes, it is. You mean I'm going to show you? Oh, look, let me. And what happens will cause complete chaos. That is not my message. And I'm going to show you. And then you can make your decision. You are the fire. Get off my stage. We unlocked Kiana's phone. You wanted to first know if Kiana was talking to any men since you've been back together. She is not telling the truth. So the reason this is important, you got to face. What, what is this about? What y'all find on Instagram? We, we can't find anything because it's been deleted. You've been deleted. So we're trying to figure out why have these things been deleted. Just like some text messages on Messenger was on my phone from a dude that I ain't never texted a day of my life when I got my phone back. You really think that I'd put a message on someone's phone? I don't know what y'all would do. Okay, in all sincerity, what you've just done right there is you've exhibited trying to gaslight me. Once we leave here, that ain't gonna matter to me. All right, well now let's unlock your phone, Devontae. Kiana wants to know if he's been faithful since the beginning. He says he has been. My Unlock the Phone investigator searches DMs and he's telling the truth. <laughs> Kiana, you also want to know if he's been faithful since being back together? He says he has been. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched all of his apps, and again, he's telling the truth. <laughs> uh, my Unlock the Phone investigator searched his text, and we found one interesting text. It was sent a week before you all got back together, and they're telling me this is something that I need to read because it's going to show me a little bit about your character, okay? Here's how things are with me, beautiful. I'm not some trick. I just want different when I come to town from time to time, and I know there's beautiful B words like you, that are scumbags that I'll, that'll do anything for money, so why not pay a low-budget, beautiful B-word uh, like yourself? I'm cool. Come do it's what a, you want to do with me, with baby. You a fool. That, 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 message, that, message that was right our 9 20, a fool. That is not my message. Yes, it is. You a fool. A low-budget, bitch. Man, I'm going to show you. A low, man, get I out ain't here. got a lot of you. A low-budget, bitch. Hold on, can man, I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Man, that, ain't, that ain't even my message. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you this? That is not my message. This is what's interesting That's on the text now. And that's from somebody else using my phone. Well, and I'm going to show you. And then you can make your decision. If you don't want to you ain't got to. But at the end of the day, I don't think either of y'all should be each other. Because let's be real. Because this is, this is both of your behavior and the way you've exhibited the anger. It's been three weeks y'all been back together. And this how y'all act? You trigger him, he triggers you. And y'all both get angry. But out of your own mouth, I took it out of my, you said, I do not want to be like this because my daughter's watching. I got bigger problems. And priorities. I don't, because my daughter loves him. If, and that's if, a simple fact. But hold my on, daughter if you don't want to be like this, then why am I a pillow right there? 
cook or make me. And I do apologize. I, I get it. There. No, no, no. I get it. You don't, I, I, you don't have to apologize to me. The person you need to apologize is to him. You need to apologize to her. And then y'all need to apologize for yourself for even being in the situation. I, I, I'm, I'm okay with you hitting my pillow because this hurts me. I can stay calm. I'm not in your relationship. But what I don't want to see is two young, beautiful African Americans in a situation where you all are just triggering each other and not healing. You are a young woman. There is no need for a 23-year-old young woman to be doing this. There's no need. Thank you for doing it. I appreciate you. There's no need for a 23-year-old woman to be doing this. And I understand. Listen, you are a grown man. There is some anger issues. You two are not healthy. This is literally heartbreaking for me. Y'all don't need to be together. And the fact that there's a little 8-year-old girl that you're about to be in front of, the fact that you over here, you're trying to run a business, you're trying to do something for yourself, and this is your behavior? What about this behavior gets you locked up? All that 24 hours, all these things with your business is done anyway. And there goes your life. It takes one time for one, if she would have called the police to have domestic violence, and you could end up in jail for anywhere from a year to 10 years. You are aware of that, right? I'm dead. Now, all of this is gone, the whole thing. He can slap you one day, and you could actually fall, hit, bump your head, now you're in a coma, something wrong could be, and now your daughter has no mother. That's true. There are so many things that we don't think about. And that's why, that's why I left for the four months, because like today I wasn't going to keep doing that and you were going to keep doing me like that. Great. When and I let me tell you what I would encourage home. you to do is I would encourage you to continue to stay gone and to do some healing on yourself, to figure yourself out. You don't need to rush back into a relationship. And I encourage you to figure out what's going on with these anger issues and then also just to continue to be a man that's trying to build your business and figure yourself out. This is not healthy for y'all. And I promise you, I see the dark road y'all about to go down, and this is going to get worse. If this half a second was any indication of what could happen in day two, in day five, in week five, then I'm telling y'all, please run for the hills, both of y'all, and go heal separately. I wish y'all the best of luck. I really do. I really do. Because I don't want to see this for y'all future. All right? Good luck to y'all. April says she lost her pregnancy. He didn't even know we lost the baby until 10 days after. Because she heard the audio of Joey having sex with another woman. Babe, I can't take it back. What will happen to this couple after his phone is unlocked? When April was five months pregnant, she received the most devastating phone call of her life. On the other end of the phone was her boyfriend, Joey, and his ex-girlfriend having sex. Sadly, April says this stressful situation caused her to lose her pregnancy. And although she forgave Joey, she still doesn't fully trust him. And she wants me to unlock his phone to finally get to the truth. Everyone, please welcome April to the show to get her side of this story. Hi, April. How are you doing? Can I have a hug? Nice to meet you. So please tell me about that day you received that phone call. I'm so sorry. Um, it was horrible. Yes. It's probably the worst thing that you could of course. go through. Yeah. So what was going through your mind that day when you got that? How did I miss this? You know, how did I miss he was this person? Mm. How did I, you know, when did this start? Mm. You know, I'm, this is my first girl. I have all boys, so I was really excited. Yeah. And um, it was rough. Yeah. Did you call him back immediately? Oh, yeah. I was blocked. Oh, he blocked you? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. He didn't even know we lost the baby until 10 days after. Because you were blocked. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, so did you break up after that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I almost hemorrhaged to death. I lost a lot of blood, and I did it all by myself. Yeah. Um, as I said again, I'm sorry you went through that, but like to show your strength and resilience yeah. as a woman and just as a human being, I give you props for that. Thank but I, I, I'm so sorry that you went through that. There you go, love. I'm sorry. So, so why did you get back together after that? Um, hope. Hope. Yeah, I mean, my little boy loved him. I, I love him. I loved him. Um. That's just, he brought me back to life because I actually lost another child before I met him. Mm -hmm. And he was 18, and so I met him two weeks later and he saved me from a very dark place. Got it, got so. it. Are you two living together right now? No. Okay, then. Is it better you living separately? Yes and no. Okay. Um, when we live together, I'm constantly wanting to check cameras, call neighbors, find out if there's someone in my house with him. It's a, a constant 
anxiety yeah. when we live together. But when we're not together, it's the same kind of, I just don't want to go through that again. Mm, mm. It makes sense. Yes. And how long have y'all been together again? For sure? Five years. Five years. Yeah, mm. that makes sense. So how's the trust now? Is, do you feel like you can trust, trust him at all? I don't trust him at all. Mm. I, don't, I don't, at all. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Do you feel like he's <laughs> he is there for you at least? No. Not at all. Mm -mm. Tell me about that. Just he he's very selfish and mm -hmm. but he goes through periods where he's he's very much present, mm -hmm. but they're far and few between. Got it. And you're dealing with raising your kids, doing mm -hmm. so much, and you still don't feel like he gives you the support you need. The only place that he's great in is when we argue. I sometimes get really angry and he's very patient with that and he'll mm. take responsibility for you know your act that way because of what I did to you. That's the reason I'm still here probably. I, I appreciate you being able to see both sides yeah. because that just shows about who you are. So what things do you do to try to um, see what he's been doing behind your back? I have put, before I've put an app on his phone, but he let me, but I put an app on his phone. Um, I've shown up when I'm not supposed to be off work. Yeah. Talk to neighbors, you know, his friends, things like that. And you've been having to do that for a while. A long time. It's like two years? Exhausting. Three. Three years. Three years. Three years. Yeah. <clears throat> three years. Yeah. What is that doing to your mental health? It's killing me. I like, that's imagine. why I'm here. I, I'm, I'm Do you feel like tired. he's still hiding things from you? Yes. Yeah, you Absolutely. do. Absolutely. And he proposed to you. He did. And what was that? What was going on there? Um, in the moment, it was yes, but then I thought about it, and I was giving the ring back. Yeah. Yeah. So would you want to be married to him in the future? If I were to find out that he's been honest and he's just been dealing with my crazy, because I have been very evil sometimes with him the okay. last three years, because I resent him for losing Bella. Okay. Then I could see a future with him, yeah. But if I were to find out that I was right this entire time, then no, absolutely not. Yeah, that I'll makes be sense. done, yeah. So everyone, I want to hear what Joey has to say about all of this and get his side of the story. So everyone, please welcome Joey to the show. Hey Joey, how are you doing? I'm uh, Nice to meet you. So from your point of view, what is your relationship like? Troubled. Troubled? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you argue a lot? Every day. So I got to go back to the beginning, though. Yeah. So she got a call with you sleeping with another woman when y'all were already deep into the relationship. How long were you cheating on her? I went, I just went back to my ex because for my daughter. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't. Oh, so this, this woman that you were cheating with was your ex, somebody you had already been in a relationship with and you had a child with. Yeah. A daughter. Oh. Yeah. A daughter. Beautiful. A daughter. Yeah. Got it. I didn't know that my ex was, like, such a scheming ass female, you know what I'm saying? That would plot. So your ex is the one who called. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's the one who called. Oh, so she did it on purpose. And so put she the phone wanted down you to hear. so I could hear. Yeah. 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 The layers to that. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about her anger? Because she said to me earlier that you still get upset. I get upset because it's my fault that she's mad at me all the time. So what were you feeling when you heard about April's miscarriage? It killed me. You also had a fight last night at the hotel. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. I just started thinking about everything, and then I, he was like, I just don't understand why we can't work this out. And I was like, I can never have kids again. Every time I look at him, I feel, I see that, I feel it. What do I do about that, though? Mm-hmm. You what, don't keep what? messing up. I don't try to, but I my mean, God, babe, I can't, I can't take it back. Yeah, but you can stop doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing nothing. I mean, so you brought him here to unlock his phone. Yeah, I because, just want to know if, if I'm yelling at him for no reason or he's telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Got it. Well, I think it's time to get to the truth of all of this and unlock the phone. Yeah. Joey's phone will be unlocked next. They've been deleted, and so we can't see those messages in those apps. And April's about to tell him a secret. <laughs> Is this relationship over for good? Stay tuned. When April was five months pregnant, she received the most devastating phone call of her life. 
On the other end of the phone was her boyfriend, Joey, and his ex-girlfriend having sex. Sadly, April says this stressful situation caused her to lose her pregnancy. He didn't even know we lost the baby until 10 days after. I can't take it back. Yeah, but you can stop doing it. I'm not doing nothing. Did you just say a million times? It's time to get to the truth of all of this and unlock the fun. All right, well, it's time to unlock the truth. Here we go. April, you want to know if Joey was still talking to an ex and another woman. No. Joey says he is not. My unlock the phone investigator searched the phone and only found your aunt in his contacts, what which aunt? was a little odd. What aunt? Fuck aunt. That's the ex's aunt, not Oh, mine. the ex's aunt. Got it. Why is her aunt in your phone? It's my daughter lives there. Okay, that's where your daughter lives. Yeah. And so there's nothing really happening there. You're aware of that? No. Why don't you trust the aunt and the number and that? Because Lived there half the time. She oh, never so the, she's never your lived ex there. that you cheated with lives there. Yeah, she don't on. live yes, there, she has. and her she has. My, her aunt don't even like the girl. Got it. Got I it. mean, Got it. she Got don't it. even like her. So she don't and let her. You don't her ever live even there. see his daughter. So why are you talking to the she aunt? Don't do I don't mm -hmm. talk to her. I call her to talk to my daughter. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what, what else would I call her for? Got why? it. Why? Okay. Um, April, you say after the last weekend, um, the fight last weekend, Joey disappeared, and you want to know where he was. Joey refused to tell her. My unlock the phone investigator searched his GPS and found that he has turned off his GPS location, so we could not even search <laughs> where he was. I didn't turn it off. It's always off. I don't know. It's, it's always not off. Always off. Yeah. It is. No, it is <laughs> not. Well, April, you want to also know if he was secretly texting people. You say no, Joey. I ain't been texting nobody. My Unlock the Phone investigator found that there were two texting apps, Text Now and Google Meet, that will have messages. The thing is, because they're separate apps, yeah. they've been deleted. Oh. She resents you because of losing the baby. Yeah. Don't go away because April's about to tell Joey a secret. Well, thanks for telling me that. Is this relationship over for good? Stay tuned. Here we go. April, you want to know if Joey was still talking to an ex and another woman. No. Joey says he is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched the phone and only found your aunt in his contacts. That's the ex's aunt. Why is her aunt in your phone? It's my daughter lives there. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his GPS and found that he has turned off his GPS location. And there were two texting apps. They've been deleted, and so we can't see those messages in those apps. I got okay. So unfortunately, um, whether this was intentional or not, because the apps were deleted, GPS was off because mm -hmm. we couldn't track, the apps were deleted, and so those messages were gone. Yeah. See, well, I've been here for five years wondering if I'm being crazy or... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's you good. ask what could be done here. Yeah. The, the issue is that she resents you because of losing the baby. Yeah, I know. And then the fact that the one contact you have in your phone, which is why I had to stop and make a little note right here, is your daughter, which I understand, she's living with your ex's sister, yeah. but uh -huh. every time you call that house and he's your ex... has been calling that house? No, I'm saying anytime he calls, he's, yeah. you're communicating there, mm -hmm. that being the contact, she's going to be re-triggered. It's yeah. going to be just re-triggered every time because that's the... Well, I would like to call her whenever she's around and, and that would solve all that, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 I, I think at the end of the day, you two have an unhealthy relationship yeah. because the trust was broken before. Yeah, I and I actually don't see a path of how this can be reconciled yeah. because of the fact that there was deep loss here for you. Yeah. Yeah. There was something hard. And like even when you said things of like, you still want kids, but you know you can't have Never. them anymore... That's a deep pain in you, and, yeah. and unfortunately, he's always going to be the mirror of that pain. He's yeah. always going to be the reflection of that pain. You're always going to see that pain every time you look at him. Yeah. And so, as much as I would love to there to be hope, y'all are in a cycle. Joey, do you feel like you deserve to be in a cycle, even yourself? I mean, like, no. do you like this? No. I, I, I heard that she gave, gave you your credit about being patient, but yeah. do you want to have to argue? No, I don't. Okay. I don't want to have to defend myself every day over the stuff I'm not doing and, and have to relive I mean, the fact that, you know, she can't have kids because it kills me. Are you happy? 
No. no. Are you happy? No. Yeah. I mean, if you want my advice, the thing you should do is you should just just appreciate the memories you had that were good yeah. and look at each other and call it quits and walk away. Yeah. I ain't doing that. So do you want to walk away from him today? In this I, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably what I'm going to do. Got it. So you do. So you're going to tell him right now you want to end this? Yeah, I, I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. You lie to me. You lose your chargers. You lose your phone. You lose you, every time I need you, you're not there. I think you love the way I love you because I have show capability. I'm loyal and, I'm, and I've been that way for five years. But you've not been that way for me. And I just found I have breast cancer and I'm not going to go through all that stress. Oh. And you'd be lying and not showing up and every, I'm not doing it. Well, thanks for not. telling me that. I told you yesterday and every yeah, day before that. Well, listen, yeah. I wish you the best of luck. I wish you the best of luck, honestly. You're the way. No, you're, you're good right there. I wish you the best of luck, man. I wish you the best of luck. Well, listen, everyone, thanks for being with us. Make sure to come back, friends, next time so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all.